Step 1. Changing the fuel pump on a 2012 GMC Terrain. Alright. From my plug here. And uh, what we're going to be doing is change that fuel pump. It's right here. This is where the, the pump is. Get boxed off first, and then this other cover, so we can access some of these uh, components in here. First thing first is there's a clamp down here. Now can I take out? Checking so that you don't make it too loose and like make the band clamp uh, fall out. All right, and then on the left side there's a, another band clamp that holds the the air box intake to the the air filter. Take that off, and then there's the PCV connection on the left side as well. And once you take those out, it's uh, matter of just pop it just kind of pop it from the back side just pop it yeah there you go all right all right there it is all right that leak right there is a good sign that so fuel that has been leaking into the top of the engine has been getting sucked back up into the air box. You should never see an actual fuel leak right there on top of the cover when you take it off. Let's screw this out real quick. Alright. There it is, uh, the air box. Do you see that leak? The fuel gets sucked in and it's coming up here to the intake. It's been returning back to the intake and that's what creates a uh, uh, too rich condition. Let's take this cap off, oil cap off, so we can pop this the cover off real quick. You just pop it, it's the same scenario. Uh, be careful not to damage the PCV connection. Right, let's put the cover back on it, on the cap, the oil cap on me, so that I don't end up dropping stuff accidentally inside. This is the fuel pump. This is what we're gonna take it off. That's the, the intake for it to the fuel pump it comes from the tank. And then at the bottom, there's the discharge side from the pump. It's called the high pressure side. And I've got a bunch of wiring harnesses. You gotta disconnect those things. And there's the wire connection, wire connection plug to the high pressure pump. Uh, let's see. This thing sometimes gets tricky. Uh, just find the little clip that actually holds it in place the little lift off tab so to speak I see it all right inside the bottom just kind of lift up on the little tab and pull the plug and voila 